Picture this, Cancun, sunny beaches, Ted Cruz, fleeing Texas in the middle of a catastrophic winter storm that left millions without power. Oh, and did I mention he left his dog Snowflake behind? Tough look, Ted, but things got even worse when he got called out for it. And how did our brave senator respond? By blaming his daughters. My girls asked to go on a trip with friends. Classic Ted, always willing to throw anyone, even his own kids, under the bus to save his own skin. This, my friends, is Ted Cruz in a nutshell. A man who prioritises his political ambitions above all else, even basic human decency. When politicians like Ted Cruz allow themselves to be publicly humiliated and demeaned without any pushback, it sends a dangerous message. It normalises this kind of behaviour. It tells bullies that they can act with impunity. And it tells the American people that this is just how politics works. A nasty, brutish and ultimately cowardly affair. But it doesn't have to be this way. There are politicians out there who understand that true leadership means standing up for what's right, even when it's difficult, even when it means risking your career. People like John McCain, who famously defended Barack Obama from racist attacks during the 2008 election, or Mitt Romney, who, despite facing intense pressure from his own party, refused to endorse Donald Trump in 2016. These are men of principle, men who understand that some things are bigger than politics. They understand that words have power and that silence in the face of injustice is a form of complicity. Ted Cruz, on the other hand, seems content to be a political chameleon, changing his colors to suit the prevailing winds. He's willing to sacrifice his dignity, his integrity, and even his own family on the altar of political expediency. And that, my friends, is the mark of a truly small man. You might be thinking, John, isn't all fair in love and war and politics? Well, here's the thing. Politics shouldn't be a war. It's supposed to be about serving the people, representing their interests, and working together to solve problems. But when personal attacks become the norm, it's impossible to have a rational conversation about anything. It creates a climate of fear and distrust, where politicians are more concerned with scoring points and settling scores than they are with actually governing. And that's a recipe for disaster. Look, I get it. Politics is a tough business. It takes a thick skin to survive. But there's a difference between being tough and being cruel, between dishing it out and taking it, and between standing up for what's right and cowering in the face of injustice. Ted Cruz likes to style himself as a tough guy, a principled conservative, but his actions tell a different story. Let's talk about real courage. Remember when the late John Lewis, a man who endured actual beatings and jail time for his beliefs, stood up to the powerful? He didn't resort to insults or personal attacks. He met hatred with love, violence with peace, and injustice with unwavering conviction. Contrast that with Ted Cruz, who seems to crumble at the slightest hint of criticism, who hides behind his staff, his family, and even his dog when the going gets tough. It's not just about Ted Cruz, though. He's a symptom of a larger problem in our politics, the erosion of basic decency and respect, the normalization of personal attacks and character assassination. We've seen it time and time again from both sides of the aisle. Politicians who are more interested in winning at all costs than they are in serving the people, who are willing to say or do anything to get ahead, even if it means sacrificing their integrity and the good of the country. So, what does it say about Ted Cruz that he's willing to tolerate such blatant disrespect? It says he's more concerned with holding on to power than he is with standing up for what's right. It says he lacks the backbone and the moral compass to be a true leader. Real leaders don't cower in the face of adversity. They don't compromise their values for political expediency. They stand up for what they believe in, even when it's unpopular, even when it's hard. They understand that true strength lies not in dishing out insults, but in rising above them. Ted Cruz may have won a few elections, he may have amassed a certain amount of power, but in the end, he'll be remembered as a cautionary tale. A man who chose ambition over integrity and who sacrificed his dignity on the altar of political expediency. And that, my friends, is the greatest insult of all.